to the video. Very exciting video today. I just got this new toy called a Blackstone Grill. I wish this was a sponsored video, but it's not. If anyone is watching from Blackstone and wants to hook me up, that would be awesome. But the first time Megan and I had tried it was actually at her sister's house. It was Mother's Day, they made brunch, and it was insane. It was so good. And then I got interested in it. I was like, okay, it's like a flat top griddle. It's easy to use, easy cleanup, which is huge for me. So I kind of started thinking about buying one. And then one of my good friends, Joshua, got one and started raving about it. And this dude, he knows food. So that is kind of what sold me. And here we have today. I made eggs, pancakes, and bacon. So I'm gonna give you guys my review. How does the food taste? I'm gonna take you through some other food options that I'm gonna be trying to make. I am no grill master by any means, but I figured if it was a cool tool to use to make your food taste a little bit better, then everyone can benefit. So here are the eggs. Wow. Great. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm the worst cook in the world. Now, I wouldn't go as far to say these are as good as Meg's eggs, but I mean, I think they are. You think they're as good as yours? Yeah. Now, Meg makes the best eggs in the entire world. I will stand behind that 100%. Have to add a little bit of uh, nothing but the OT seasoning from Trader Joe's. But cooked in the bacon grease on that griddle, fantastic. So the eggs are going to get a passing score with flying colors for sure. I'm actually, I'm very impressed with myself. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I was having some self doubt, but the food that I'm most excited to try are these pancakes, almost like a hot cake from McDonald's, if you guys can tell. It's got the char on there, a little bit of bacon grease. Let me just hit it with a little honey. You guys know how I like to do. Just like that. Oh baby, oh baby. Crisp on the outside, fluffy on the inside, oh my. I tell you what guys, you get married and you just ultimately become more of a man. I think that's what it is for anyone that's on the fence there. But wow, wow. You know what? You're gonna be full-time camera wife? Cooking's on me now. Sounds great. Amazing, amazing. I don't wanna gas myself up too much, but. But sure love. These, these might be the best pancakes yeah. they've ever been invented. Sure. I hop, sit down. And of course, it's hard to mess up bacon, but I figured for good measure, I'd at least give you guys a live taste test. Wow. 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 Now here's the real test. If Alfie likes it, you guys have to like the video. Is that a deal? I feel like it's the least you could do for this amazing presentation. Buddy? What do you think? Rank it. Delicious food, easy cleanup, and it really wasn't that much. I think it was around $300. I'll go ahead and link the one that I purchased down in the description box below if anyone is interested. I mean, again, it's not my first time using it, but from the feedback I've been given by others, I really think it's gonna be a great value. Let's go, buddy. Treat for the crate. Treat for the crate. So after a big delicious breakfast, things can really go one of two ways. You can lay on the couch, take a nap, and wake up in about four hours feeling groggy, or you can use all that fuel to go get a monster workout, which is what I'm going to choose to do. I'm back on my trifecta. Now that the wedding is over and all the craziness is behind us, I'm back on my fitness game. So I'm gonna be having one scoop of Alphamine. This is a pre-workout that allows me to have the energy I need to get through my workouts, thanks to the caffeine and all the good stuff in there. And I'm actually gonna be switching back over to prolific now that it's summer this has a thermogenic which helps me sweat great for the winter not so much in the summer and i'll show you guys that when it comes in and i'm gonna add two scoops of high volume another pre-workout but this is stem free this just helps me get a better pump and make me feel a little bit better about my puny physique and of course creatine five grams a day keeps the doctor away cheers boys So I've made quite a few changes to the home gym in the last few weeks. I actually have a full video reviewing this custom rogue rack coming soon. You'll see I've got a weight stack finally, which I thought was gonna be a game changer, but unfortunately, I am having a few issues. We'll talk about that a little later. Move the dumbbells over here to free up this space. But really, I just need to get a good workout in and not focus on the camera. We'll be back to some grilling very, very soon. 
Okay, so Megan has convinced me to end my workout a little early and go to the pool. It is 4th of July. Happy 4th of July to everyone, by the way. So I figured, you know what, we could take a little time off and go have a little relaxation. So I'm not gonna be able to grill out just yet, but I am gonna share something with you very soon. In the meantime, I'm gonna be having one of these built bars. You guys know I absolutely love this one. And this is a very brand new release. It is called the Grasshopper. You guys might have seen me talk about it a little bit last month. And it released on Wednesday, so I don't even know if this flavor is still available, but if it is, you guys have to get it. And if not, they have so many other good flavors. My personal favorite is the white chocolate. That one is delicious, but they're all really good. They have the almond that tastes like an almond joy. Anyway, let me just give you guys a taste test of this one. Yo, Built Bars, if anybody out there watches my videos, bring this flavor back full time. Grasshopper is insane. So whether or not this one is still available, hit the link in the description. You guys can actually save 15%. They've been nice enough to sponsor this video. I'm telling you, these things are delicious. Almost 20 grams of protein, low calories, low carb. I mean, it's just a fantastic snack, especially when you're in a rush like myself. So now let me go get Megan before she yells at me. We gotta go to the pool. <laughs> Okay guys, next up, we're gonna be trying to make some quesadillas. I'm gonna be using these low carb tortillas. We're gonna be cooking up some chicken, melting a little bit of cheese on there, hoping to get that little, uh, that tar on the ends, make it a little crispy. We'll see how it goes. So I feel like hibachi style chicken can really be hit or miss. So I'll let you guys know what I think here, but I can tell you the way Megan seasoned it, it smells pretty delicious. Gonna let it sear here for probably 15 minutes or so, and then we'll put the tortilla shell on there, mix in some cheese, have a nice cheesy chicken quesadilla. We'll see how it is. I got right at the pool, but needless to say, the chicken cheese quesadilla came out very, very well. You see that little little uh, ash right there? I think that's the, the correct terminology. That's what we're going for. It looks like everything just melted together. If you guys can see if my camera will even focus. Okay, okay. I don't wanna get ahead of myself here, but I think I'm onto something. If you're like me and you suck at cooking, I think the Blackstone might just become your best friend. I really wish I would hit them up before I did this and ask for like a paid promotion on this thing. I mean, I had no idea. It's my first day actually trying it for myself, but. Mm. I love this. So easy, clean up, nothing. As the kids would say, no cap, no toboggan. Nothing. No duffel bag. No. Amazing. So I hope this clip serves two purposes. One, you guys go check out Cuts and get some t-shirts to make you feel all jacked and stuff. And two, go take your puppy out for some ice cream, whether it's McDonald's, Dairy Queen, whatever local place you have. Look at that precious face. He knows he's about to get ice cream. Your dog should get the same. Let's go do it right now. <laughs> Sit down, you're giving me a small bite. Hey, camera wife, give us your unfiltered opinion on the Blackstone. How has the food been? Um, much better than I expected. Okay. Actually, amazing. Yeah. But way better than I expected you to be able to do. Hey. Very so, good. Yeah? Mm hmm. Those pancakes, I think, are the best thing we've yes. had. Those are so good. Now, supposedly, according to Megan's sister, these are the best thing you can make on the griddle, which are going to be smash burgers. We're going to be having that for dinner, and I'm pumped. You know what else I'm pumped about? What? USA! USA! <laughs> <laughs>
those burgers, but don't worry, give me some time and I will perfect the smash burger and I'll report back to all of you. But all in all, that thing is awesome. Like I said, I'm gonna leave it linked down below if you are interested. Remember back in the day, I did the Will It Grill series and I just tried to grill anything and everything. If you guys want me to bring that back, let me know. I had a ton of fun. A lot of cleanup in the kitchen though. It's, it's interesting because the grill is easy to clean, but then you have like a thousand plates and tongs and, and all that fun stuff. But either way, the food was incredible. Highly, highly encourage you guys to check it out. And hopefully you enjoyed it. Something a little bit new. You know, sometimes these videos get kind of stale. But anyway, thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch. I mean, you could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world, and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I look forward to talking to y'all next time.